I'm gonna make some jerky, some beef jerky for the dogs now. Um, I've had this piece of meat, I took it from the freezer this afternoon, so it's been in the fridge for a couple of hours. Um, this is top round um, that I got on sale. Look for the leanest cut you can get. You don't want all that marbling in there. And I'm just, I'm simply gonna slice this. I'm gonna slice it two different ways so we can see what it looks like. I'm gonna go across the grain, and that should be a, a more tender jerky. Try to get your slices as even as possible and pretty thin. Okay, now I'm gonna go kind of with the grain here. Cut off all the extra fat. You don't want fat in your jerky because it's just not gonna dry well. So I'm gonna go across the grain. See how this works. Now if I were making this for people, I would be getting a marinade ready and um, soaking it in the fridge and marinade for several hours. Since this is for the dogs, and my point is I don't want to be giving them a lot of extra salt, I'm not going to do the marinade. We're just going to do the beef plain. You can do this in the oven or in the dehydrator. Either works. I'm just going to put that back in the kitchen wrapper, put that back in the fridge. Um, here's my tray. And leave some space between the pieces. These across the grain pieces kind of fell apart. And I'm not entirely even with my slices. I've got some thick and some thinner. I'm gonna use the second tray here. And I am using the mesh sheet. I'll get this on the dehydrator. It should take five hours. We'll be checking it along the way. The temperature for meat is 165 degrees. I'm also going to make some chicken jerky. And again, this is frozen. So I'm gonna slice it as thinly as possible. and take off any fat pieces on the, on the edges of the chicken breast, of course. There we go. And like the beef, I am not going to use any kind of marinade. I'm just going to dehydrate it as is. There we go. I'll go ahead and put these on the dehydrator and get that started. I've just taken the beef jerky out of the dehydrator. It's definitely pliable. This is the one that was um, sliced with the grain, so it's still a little chewy. It tastes like, it tastes like steak, really. Crispy steak. Chewy steak, but steak. You know, I think they're gonna love it. Hey guys, come here. Can you come up and get it? Good girl. What about you, Tor? Come on. Oh, good boy. These are the pieces that I cut against the grain, so they're a little bit less chewy, they break up easier. Technically, you could use these for training treats too. Why not? Um, I would definitely keep them in the fridge until you use them. That's the beef. And I've taken the chicken out of the dehydrator as well. They were, uh, both the beef and the chicken were in for about four hours. Uh, this is still a little pliable. The, um, the thinner slices are definitely crispier. But, you know, because it's chicken, I would probably leave this in for another hour just to make it a little bit crispier. 
and because raw chicken scares me more than than beef does. I'm going to put this in for another hour, but it's, it's not going to change in appearance much. 